This is going to be the greatest meltdown. I think it's the greatest upset. One of them in sports history. I'm well choke. Meltdown in sports. Now the Jazz lost in '95 when they had that great, great team in the first round of the Rockets. When our Sonny went been drunk, Benoit was drunk and couldn't throw it in the ocean. When they lost to George Carl, that great team when they were the two seed. When they lost Game Seven in the Western Conference Finals in Seattle, you know, of course. But this in all of sports, not this is Jazz. Let's talk about this. In all of sports, not just the Jazz. This is the best record in the NBA this year. The best record in the NBA. It's hip to clip. It's hip to clip. Are you kidding me? It's, you kidding me? It's hip to clip. i got to tell you the story. It's unbelievable. 25-point lead in the third quarter. I never saw a lead erased like this in my life. It was erased in minutes. It's like a Bob Balford racehorse without the juice, just dying in the stretch. I cannot overstate this. Now, granted, the NBA, they crammed all these games, these greedy fuckers. It's abusive as hell to the players, but they're abusive to the fans. The players don't fucking support the fans. Players are fucking just... If the Jazz lose this game, the best record... In, now, this is the second one. I can't ever remember the best record in the NBA going out in the second round. To the fucking Clippers. That fucking Microsoft fuck. They're keeping it close. But let's get real. Donovan Mitchell, the last couple games, he comes out, the Jazz, I mean, they're on fire, but he could see by the third quarter, he's broke down. They had too many games, too long, he's hurt, but here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. The coaches all knew this. Quinn Snyder's a piece of shit. He ain't nothing. He ain't nothing. Donovan Mitchell was getting fucking beat up towards the end of the season. Why didn't he arrest him? Why didn't he arrest him? He should have been arrested the last 10 days at least. The last two weeks. Oh, they wouldn't have the one seed. Okay, maybe they had two seed. Well, look how well this one seed did him. This is one of the great fucking meltdowns in sport. This is the best record in the NBA. 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 In the second round, 2-0 lead. Without the Clippers, don't have their superstar on the floor. 25, it was 75-50 to 50 this game. Unbelievable. Everybody's putting them up on <laughs> They suck. Well, they don't suck. Quinn Snyder suck. I feel sorry for the fans. I got rid of my season tickets in 2001 when they disrespected Bobby Sloan. They were ahead 75 to 50. It well into the third quarter. This is one of the great. I, you are, fuck, I'm an old jazz fan. Don't tell me about fucking heartbreaking fucking losses. I was in that arena when Chris Mullen and that small lineup fucking lit the Jazz up and knocked it. The Jazz were all that dense. Jerry Sloan used to just get out coached. I was in the arena on a Sunday one day. I had seen David Benoit at the OTB in Wyoming. He was drunker than fuck. He had a hangover. They wouldn't even guard him. They should have won it all first round, Rockets. At home, who's gave I've gone by. Jordan was fucking playing baseball. I can go on and on and on and on. I gotta tell you this story because I never tell it. I'm at this game, sitting right across from Jordan when he made the shot. After the game, this dude's from Ogden too. I know him. He's a friend of Jim McMahon's, and I love Jim, by the way. I'm a big fan of Jim McMahon's. He only has one eye, but one of his friends. After the game, they're doing the trophy ceremony. It's 98. So they come down. I walk down. 
you know, close by the rain end. There's a great big dude. I know the dude. He's from Augie. This guy looks like Hulk Hogan's big brother. He... Robert tears off his jersey like he always does, throws it up in the stands. This dude walks right up. He's on the rail and throws a full beer right in Dennis Rodman's face. Threw it right in his face. Rodman has bodyguards with him, two big dudes. Those dudes come right up. This dude rips off his shirt and says, come on, motherfucker. Should have seen the old geezer security fuckers. They were shaking in their boots. He's like, come on, come on. Those two scourge turn around and left. By the way, I love Rodman. What a fucking player. I see John Stockton's come out. He's a non-boxer. Right on. But whatever. I never liked the dude. I, I met him personally. I coached three on three. My kids tried to get autographs. We beat his kids. His kids sucked, by the way. And he was a prick. We love Carl Malone. Love Carl Malone. Love, I mean, Carl Malone, the GOAT. Stephen A. Smith. <laughs> yeah, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell's obviously fucking broke down, worn out. Whose fault that? That's. Jesus. Do you hear that? They're broke down. Snyder's a piece of shit. They knew they had these games all crammed in. They knew that. He should have been resting Mitchell. He should have been resting Mitchell. And Colbert for that thing. Here and there. Just here and there. I mean, you got to be... I mean, they crammed these games in. This is one of the greatest... Mel as I predicted it, you know, because I just know who Quinn Snyder is. The fucking Jazz are. They got such shitty karma on them. Everybody put them up on... Do not forget this. Do not forget this. I got to tell you this story. This hat. When the Jazz lost that game, I believe it was to Golden State. They were the second seed. At home. George Carl knocked him. George Carl used to just outright out coach Jerry Sloan. That's what happened when Phil would out coach Jerry. Not Johnson. Jackson. So I walk out. I was so pissed. I'm like, this is it. I was calling him the Utah Cubs then. So I walk out and I says, this is right when LA had just got there. I tag still in it. And I bought this hat. And I says, what are you doing? I says, fuck it. I'll be a Clippers fan. Because, you know, I grew up here in, in Ogden, Utah. We used to take a bus to there. And San Diego. At least you always know the Clippers. They always lose. I'm sick of getting my heart broke. I'm sick about dating supermodels and these beautiful females. I'm going to go for the ugly duckling so I won't be disappointed. So we used to take a bus from Ogden down. And when I wasn't old enough to drink, so my first protest, Kevin Blanche, the activist goat. I got to tell you about my first real successful protest. I was 19, 20. We loved Battistone. I used to sit with Ricky Green's wife. I used to sit with Daryl Griffith's wife. You used to sit with them right there. They raised beer prices from a dollar to a dollar twenty-five. Oh, we fucked the protest. We set up out in front of the beautiful, magnificent old Salt House. Oh, the best arena in the world. Ask Larry Bird. And so, we set up shop out there and protest. We made signs, the whole works. Battlestone came out. And he says, you win. He lowered back to a dollar. And he sent us over fucking rounds for the next three or four fucking games. Me and all my friends. Just round, all we wanted. The big beers for a dollar. Fuck, it was the best product in the world. The, hard, the best sports fans in the world. I got to tell this too. Donovan Mitchell. I know him from New York. I flew with him. I'm in the airport, and I'm like, what are you doing? Flying to Salt Lake. Flying to Salt Lake for what? I got dropped by the Jazz. What? I says, do you understand how racist the Jazz fans, they didn't used to be. The Jazz fans, when we used to sit in that old softball, were the greatest. They were, they knew, they were the best basketball fans in the country. They knew their shit. They knew their shit. We would sit in them stands and talk basketball. I mean, I remember Thurl Bailey was a rookie. We are talking, I mean, just these conversations you would have with these sophisticated, educated, smart, dynamic basketball, Arnie Ferentz type. You know, they were there. I mean, they're the best fans in the world. I said, not now. They're all priced out. I said, you know the race? Remember when 
it, this is 2017. Remember in the first round when the Jazz got knocked out and those fans are on the front row chirping to uh, Kevin Durant? Because I do remember that. As Durant scored the last, what, 15, 16, 70 points game? Donovan Mitchell to Kevin Blanche. I do remember that. Don't feed the line. Don't feed this fucking line. I'll tell that to the Nathan Energy Crime Center. I was given too much to live 10 years ago. I predicted all this. I mean, which I do all the time. I don't believe it. Up 75 to 50. Well, it's like a Bob Befford racehorse without the juice. Jeff Mullins, he's from here, my friend. Just fucking die at the three-quarter pole. Well, they're wore down. They're broke down. So is the rest of the league. Quinn Snyder sucks. This is one of the greatest meltdowns in sports history. Best record in the NBA. The number one seed. Up 2-0. Out in the first, second fucking round. I feel sorry for Jazz fans. I really do. But they fucked all the kids anyway. You can't... I mean, it's... Fuck the Jazz. Un fucking believable. Well, you go from, to David Locke from Hot Rod Hungling. I'm coming around with Locke. Yep. Yep. That was on a Sunday. I was at that game. Me and my little daughter. Oh, they should have won it. That team was all that then. They didn't guard David but I want Doink. He was drunk. He'd been at the OTB in Wyoming betting horses. He was wasted. He was hung over. And Jerry Sloan, well, he should, Jerry Sloan should recognize being that he's that fucking hardcore alcoholic that he was. Now, this one, they didn't choke here. They did not choke here. They just run into that fucking guy. It's like Will Chamberlain with Bill Russell. He, he would be the GOAT if it wasn't for Bill Russell. Bill Russell's the GOAT and that guy and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Those are your GOATs. How the fuck do you beat that guy? <laughs> you couldn't. You couldn't. Nobody could. Nobody. Keep it going, Kev. I pissed at Donovan Mitchell. He took on Black Lives Matters with his fucking... Well, for, I'm the guy that invented it. I'm the guy that started the anti-police brutality movement right here in Utah. On the death, the not no knock one Matthew Stewart, 2012, Daniel, or play back the tape. That's an unarguable fact. The GOAT of activism? Oh, you're talking Kevin Durant. We'll see with Kevin Durant tomorrow, huh? In Brooklyn. I feel bad for the fans, the jazz fans, but all the good jazz fans, not all of them, but most of them have gone long ago. The money priced him out. We were talking, me and what's the name up the title company. Yeah, I've ran into him. I've seen him for years. We were having this conversation about the money. Because I gave up my season tickets. I mean, yeah, the money's ruined it. That's the Utah GOAT. Utah Jazz GOAT. Stockton, he's the second. They couldn't win. Well, you had Jerry Stone. Coaches matter. Coaches matter. We'll see about Nash, by the way. I was at Salt Lake at that game when Nash was a 15 seed. I was at the game. I had that ticket and program. I was at that game. I was at Jason Kidd's last game at Weber State when they got knocked down. But when that Nash kid, what a fucking man. I think it's going to be interesting because Phoenix Suns vs. the Nets, maybe. Nash. Clippers first conference. The great Ron Boone. Love that dude. Um, I've never seen anything like it. I'm like, fuck, this is going to be game seven here. This is going to be something. 75 to 50. Donovan Mitchell, again, great first half, zero second half. He's a broke down racehorse. That's Quinn Snyder, broke him down. It's over. Heartbreak. Un one of the greatest meltdowns in the number one seed, the best record in the NBA, which the Jazz have never been that. Out in the second round to the fucking Clippers. 
I don't believe it. Well, I believe it. Fuck Quinn Snyder. He sucks. Fuck the Jazz. What they've done for ticket prices and whatever, they deserve everything they get. When they named the building the Energy Solutions. I, I, well, it's one of the greatest, well, the Utah Cubs. Well, what are the say? There it is. Can you, but 130, well, how many points did they score in a second? 80 something. What a meltdown. Unbelievable. So we need to get a repeat of this one. Look at the price on those tickets. Long live the great Frank Lady. Long live Adrian Dantley. Long live. Oh. The great Mark Eaton, we love that dude. Unbelievable. Stand